What's up guys? Today's story is about a man video recording abusing young girl. A construction worker who allegedly video recorded himself abusing a 13 year old girl is facing rape, sexual touching, assault and possession of child pornography. The incident which occurred in March was affected against the niece of the man's girlfriend. He is accused of placing a knife through the child's throat and raping her and then video recording himself fondling her. The police are investigating the matter, but I think this man should be placed in jail right away. I don't even think he should go into court. I just think they should put him in jail and tell him that, oh, this is the amount of years they're going to get, sir, and goodbye. The next story is about a man stabbed to death in Barbican Square. A 55-year-old man who had a dispute with others in Barbican Square yesterday was stabbed to death. Dead is Chaplin Simpson from St. Elizabeth. Reports are that Simpson had a dispute with other groups of men in Barbican Square about 9.45 when the group started throwing stones at each other. Typical Jamaicans. I should say. Simpson ran across the road where a man from Castle Heights used a knife to stab him in the upper body. He collapsed and died. The perpetrator escaped the area. CVM Live obtained video footage from a motorist who witnessed the altercation that took place minutes after nine in Barbican Square in the corporate area. Watch closely as the man in orange is seen hurling an object at a group of men who are pursuing him. The dispute ended fatally for the man in orange who has since been identified as Chaplain Simpson. Simpson was stabbed with a knife multiple times and was taken to the University Hospital of the West Indies where he was pronounced dead. The men involved fled the area. The cause of the dispute is unknown at this time. Business was brought to a standstill and traffic redirected as the scene was cordoned off for processing by the police. A suspect has been identified. The suspect um, who has been identified as Squidly, his correct name is yet ascertained by us, but um, he's, he's called Squidly and he's of a, a Castle Heights address. He used a knife to stop the, the you know, who, who later collapsed along the roadway. Superintendent Fletcher says the deceased is known to the police. It appears um, he, he might have been a practitioner of petty thievery, so you know, he is known. According to police reports, this is the first murder recorded in the commercial space since the start of the year. The suspect is being encouraged to turn himself in to the police. It is in his best interest, so we encourage him just um, turn himself forward to the police, he can come so on, he can do so on his own, he might want to use the services of justice of the peace, a minister of religion and attorney at law, but um, it's best for him to surrender. Robian Williams for CVM Live. Our next story is about five including an 11 year old injured in Water Lane drive by. Five people, including an 11-year-old child, were left nursing injuries last evening after a drive-by on Water Lane in Kingston. The injured also include a correctional officer. Reports are that the five were on Water Lane in the vicinity of Gold Street about 5.50 p.m. when the occupants of a Toyota Axio motor car aligned from the vehicle with handguns and opened fire at the group. They sustain various injuries. The injured officer, who is a licensed firearm holder, fired back, causing the gunmen to retreat. So first, I'm going to start from the user monitor, um, where you, this is the first point of contact with the unit. And then from here, I'm going to go to the vehicle, open the, the respective plug that I'm going to use to charge in this vehicle. Then I'm going to select the plug. So if I start in the middle, which we use today, this is known as Chat Demo, um, created by um, Tokyo Electric Power out of Japan. 
mainly for the purpose of um, they were thinking way ahead of not only charging a vehicle but pulling power from a vehicle and therefore the Nissan Leaf became the only vehicle that you could actually pull power from a car and feed it back into a home. First I start by selecting start a charge and it shows me the different types of plugs and I can either select the plug I want here on the screen or I can do, go physically to the plug that I know is mine and plug it up. So before I take up the plug, this is a 24 Nissan Leaf. I'm going to select the plug for quick charge. The Leaf has two plugs for a regular level 2 slow charge. And for a quick charge, this plug is known as a chat demo. It's a Japanese plug. That's a chat demo. It, or I can take the plug out itself. Plug it in, it checks it place. It's a capacity of the charger to deliver power. So, for example, a what is popularly known as a level 2 charger which tends to be smaller, those are AC power chargers similar to the power you get in your socket at home. Yeah. Um, how much power you can push into the battery depends on a device in the car called a rectifier. So this may have a 3 kilowatt, 3.6 kilowatt rectifier and the cars have a 7 and the cars have a 11. So how fast you can charge will depend upon that device in the car. So for example, this will have a 3.6 kilowatt rectifier. So if you put in, if you plug it into an AC charger, you can pull the charge at a maximum rate of 3.6 kilowatt. Right now, per, per hour or, or per watt? It can, that's the maximum it can deliver. So if oh. you were to stay at that, it would be 3.6 kilowatt hour. Yes. At the moment, we are charging at 33.8 kilowatt. So it's delivering. Delivering 32 kilowatts, 81 amps at 396 volts. So because it's delivering you now direct current, it goes straight to the battery. Yeah. So it's able to deliver a lot more power at a faster rate. Um, it becomes a more sophisticated charger because there has to be more communication between car and battery. And obviously it's delivering a lot more power. But the first thing I do again is go back to the battery. Stop the charge. They have to communicate. Your changes. It says charge stop, the light changes, these yeah. go off, okay. and these go out. I know it's oh, not yes. safe. Yes, yes, and it was on red before. Yeah. There's a lot of power is going through that. Yeah. I should mention also the Nissan has recently decided to switch to this standard, which is the next one. This is the official standard now in Europe, in the European Union, which is known yeah. as in the industry, these are both sorry, DC plugs, which means you're delivering DC power. Direct current. Direct current. You can each deliver 50 kilowatts. So you can charge two cars at the same time if they're using different standards. Um, so this plug, um, you, can, you can do it by a little flat top to the circle, and the two pins at the bottom, is known as CCS2 or Type 2. It's a European standard, which means combined charging standard, Type 2. Type 2 is because it delivers DC power at a higher rate. And the DC power primarily comes from these plugs. So this is in Europe and some of the Japanese manufacturers have adopted this plug as well. And then last on this charger is actually the European standard. Um, but this is known as AC Type 3, that's a technical term. AC power, which is different, or alternating current, which is different from these two. Um, alternating current because for the, the AC chargers, it's a lot easier to change from one standard to the next adapter. Because the AC, AC charging delivers less power, and the communication between the charger and the vehicle is very limited. So, much more acceptable to change from an adapter to go from this standard to, for example, an American J1772 standard. For